Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Thursday. I'm your host, Diem Galabond. And today we're going to be talking about the spell Daylight. Well, let's go on and get on with the video. All right, Daylight is a third level spell in 5th edition. It's available to a whole raft of different classes. You have clerics, druids, paladins, rangers, sorcerers, uh, the light domain, the circle of the land, druids, and the celestial. So that's even warlocks with the celestial patron can get this spell. Um, so it's a third level spell. Takes one action to cast, verbal somatic, 60 foot range, lasts for an hour, evocation spell, and um, it gives you control over light. Basically what it does, a 60 foot radius sphere of light spreads out from a point you choose. Uh, it's bright light and sheds dim light for an additional 60 feet. So gives you an effective 120, well actually... 60 and 60, so 20. Yeah, effectively it lights up a 240 foot area. So it's a pretty, pretty large light. Now, if you choose a point on an object you are holding or one that isn't being worn or carried, the light shines from that object and moves with it. Uh, so completely covering the affected object with an opaque object, such as a bowl or a helm, blocks the light. Uh, if any of the spell's area overlaps with an area of darkness created by a spell of third level or lower, the spell that created the darkness is dispelled. So uh, now we now light the light spell itself will temporarily uh, will temporarily light up an area of magical darkness, but daylight will actually dispel magical darkness. So that's one one thing that it can be uh, used for. All right, now that's 5th edition, and really its antecedent comes out of 3rd edition, 3.5. Uh, there's really not anything like it that comes in previous editions. The closest thing was Continual Light, but that's a much smaller uh, light source and much more contained. So in 3rd uh, edition, 3.5, it was also the purview of Bards, Clerics, Druids, Paladins, Sorcerers and Wizards all got it at uh, level 3. Um, it's the Object Touch, lasts 10 minutes per level. And the Object Touch sheds, sheds light, like full daylight in a 60 foot radius, and additional 60 feet beyond is dim light. Now, creatures that take penalties in bright light, so in other words, creatures that have penalties on seeing in bright light because they live in uh, total darkness uh, that the spell will affect them however it does not uh, it's not the equivalent of daylight for the purpose of creatures that are damaged or destroyed by bright light such as vampires uh, so and then it goes on to say that if you put it on a small object and you completely enclose that small object, it will uh, effectively render, you know, it will block off the light. And then it's the same thing that when daylight's brought into an area of magical darkness or vice versa, uh, it's temporarily negated. So, um, so now daylight will counter or dispel any darkness spell of equal or lower level, such as darkness. And if you went and looked at the darkness spell, it would say the same thing. So if there's an area that has magical light on it, you cast magical darkness on it, that will dispel it, and they both go away. All right, well, uh, that's pretty much going to do it for our discussion of the daylight spell for this week. If you like the little quick hit uh, videos that we're doing here on this channel, uh, if you have any comments or questions or any topics you would like us to do, uh, please subscribe and then leave some comments in, uh, you know, on the video. Uh, we love to have your feedback and we love to uh, find out what it is that you all want to see more and how maybe we can do some more stuff that will help you out. 
All right, that is going to do it for me. I hope everyone has a wonderful week, and we will see you back here next week for the next Divine Thursday. Good night, everybody.